Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video and it's kind of a little bit of a showdown. We're going to be testing out two eyeliners that just launched at Sephora and I've tried them both. I own both and I am really excited to give you my thoughts on them because they're two things that have been very hyped up. Really exciting launches for us this year at Sephora's and that is the Rare Beauty Liner by Selena Gomez and the Patrick Star Drag Proof Point Made Precision Liner. I have both here today and I've done a couple of tests uh, outside of this video that I'll insert pictures of, but essentially I really put these two through the ringer. I drew swatches on my arm on both sides, took a shower, did wings and slept in them, and I really tested these out for you guys so I have my thoughts on them and they're pretty mixed, I'll be quite honest. So let's just go into the Rare Beauty first because this is the most recent launch. Packaging, stunning. I love the simplicity of it, the color, the gold uh, accented cap. It kind of reminds me of M, cap, uh, M Cosmetics by Michelle Phan, but I don't think there was any like copyright infringement there. That's not what I'm saying. It just reminds me of that, but really beautiful. It's really pretty. And the tip is very fine. It is a brush tip. And then the Patrick Star is a standard eyeliner uh, housing. It reminds me quite a bit of the L'Oreal liner um, component and packaging and the tip as well. And with this, you can really do those very small little precise lines. This is so hard to do when I can't see. So you can do little lines, very thin dashes, or a thick line. Now with brush tips, and I think this messes people up a lot, you don't want to use a lot of pressure with them. You want to only use the tip. So if you only use the tip of it, I can't see at all. See? If you just use the tip, you can get the finest little lines with it. I actually prefer brush tip liners. So that's how both of them look when you just swatch them going on. I did again do a test, so I'll show you pictures of that now. This is what it looked like after, or before I took a shower, and after. Um, so you can clearly see that the one size is not waterproof as it claims. I, when I took my shower, I made sure not to use any body wash or scrub or anything like that, and it still took it off. And just to show you my point, I'm going to just spritz, oh god, I'm gonna spritz just with a little bit of spray on both, let it sit for a few seconds, and then wipe away. And you can see the Rare Beauty really didn't move at all, and then the Patrick Star is pretty much gone. So that was a huge indication of the wear test of the bol of both formulas. The Rare Beauty clearly is longer wearing, but I do like the way it applies better. I find if you don't have enough ink in the brush tips, or if there's anything gunking up the brush tips, it won't apply well. Whereas the Patrick Star, it, o it always applies well. And that's the case with felt tip liners. They will do that over... They will outperform a brush tip until they, to themselves, get gunked up, at which point you kind of need a new one. Whereas a brush tip, you can sort of clean it out with a little bit of alcohol or even water or anything like that just to kind of get that gunk out, use a spoolie, you know, do the thing. But I'm pretty impressed with the Rare Beauty. Like, I'm really rubbing hard, and it's it's very difficult to remove. But when you are ready to take it off, I did receive, I did notice that it was very easy to remove the makeup remover. In terms of application, let's do a little bit of a test right now. So on my right eye, I'm going to do the Patrick Star Liner. And as you can see, you can get a really precise line. Cool. And then I'll do my inner corner. And there it is. Very fast, easy. I made it a little bit too long, but applies very, very easily. The Rare Beauty liner, again, you have to be a little bit more careful because it is a brush tip and you need to only use the very, very end of it. So you just need to be careful, aware of that, but you can get 
a much finer line with it. And then for the inner wing, there you go. So you get the same result with both, but again, this side is not going to be as long wearing as the Rare Beauty. So guys, that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed the demo uh, and kind of showdown between the two liners, showing you guys the pictures of after taking a shower, and then an application test. Again. I'm kind of torn because I think the Patrick Star is a little bit easier to apply this brush tip. While I really like it, it's a little bit too sensitive where you really need to hone in and be just having the exact amount of pressure and I don't find that's the case with the Kat Von D Locket liner which I don't really like any or the Tattoo liner which I don't really love anymore. But there's other brush liners that I find are not as difficult to use. For example, like the Sephora Collection liner I think is amazing. There's others as well. Even the Clinique, I really like their brush tip liner. That said, in terms of ergonomics, the feeling, and just the liner themselves, I much prefer the Rare Beauty. I think it's at a better price when it's 20 It's $19. This I think is like 22 or something. Um, so you do get a little bit more bang for your buck. And I also must mention that you get almost double the amount of liquid liner in this Rare Beauty liner that you do than you do in a normal standard liner. I was looking at all the milliliters and you get a lot more in here. So that said, I know I didn't have a definitive answer. I think I prefer the way this goes on, but the formula in this is better, like significantly better. So I'm kind of torn. I think if I just use this more and spend more time learning and perfecting the amount of pressure, I'll learn to love it. But also at the same time with liners, they are not everlasting, kind of like eyeshadows are. It takes a long time to hit pan. By the time you might perfect your technique with this, you might have gone through quite a bit of it. I, so I'm really torn. This is easier for beginners, but you wouldn't want to set it with like a black eyeshadow and then a couple layers of setting spray, whereas this, you can kind of just put it on and be out the door. So take that as it is. If you're someone who is more about doing graphic liner, really precise little work, you might want to take a look at this. However, you can get those super micro fine lines with the brush tip that you can't get with this. But in terms of ease and initial, just making a line, this is an easier liner to use. Rare Beauty stays on longer. It's going to be better for events, weddings, shows, performing, anything like that. However, you need to already be really good eyeliner to use this, in my personal opinion. So guys, that is about it. That wraps up this video. I'm going to go take this off. And actually, let me do that on camera right now with the One Star Wipes. So with Patrick Starr's initial announcement, announcement on Sephora's website and his own YouTube, it was featuring the go off wipes and the spray. I don't have the spray, but I do have the wipes, so I'm gonna see how well they work. I'll be honest, I did already try them, but not on something like this, so let's see. They're really large. They're really, really big, so that's actually awesome. I'm not a huge fan of makeup wipes. I don't like the fact that they're single use and they are a little irritating, but if you use them right, you shouldn't have to worry. So I'll usually just press it on the eye area, kind of massage it in, tap, tap, you don't want to rub too hard and then just sweep away. So that definitely took the liner off for sure. My mascara needs a little bit more work but this is the They Are Real from Benefit and I find that this mascara is honestly very difficult to remove. It's not waterproof so I don't know what they put in it but I'm actually pretty impressed with that but I probably won't use these that often. And then let's see how it does with Rare Beauty. I'm thinking I might need a little more liquid for the side, so I'm going to fold the towel in half. Okay, yeah, as you can see, the Rare Beauty does not want to remove as easily. Yeah, it's, it's significantly more difficult to remove. It's a really, really long wearing liner. Oh my gosh, it's still not off. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. It took everything off that would need to come off in a first cleanse, but I will go in with a um, secondary cleanser, probably the Skin Fix 
but yeah, but yeah, you can see already my skin got a little bit of ir irritation just from the rubbing action, and I don't have sensitive skin, so again, I'm really not a huge fan of makeup wipes, but if you're in a pinch, they're fine. That concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you're not already, and hit the bell, and give me a like. And again, as for the two liners, you really gotta just pick which is more important to you, longevity or ease of use. And for the wipes, if you are a makeup wipe person, I do encourage you to try to get out of that and do double cleanses. They're really just not environmentally friendly and they do irritate your skin over time and just they push product into the skin versus getting rid of it. So I do highly encourage you to abandon them, but if you are looking for a good wipe, I actually really like the one size it took no time at all and it was just one wipe. I do find a lot of the time you end up using two or three because they are really small or the formula isn't emollient enough to break down that makeup, but it did a pretty good job. I don't have anything left really that I can see, but I am still gonna cleanse again. And yeah, so that's about it. I'll see you all in my next one. Thank you again for watching, and until then, bye ya.